Hello YouTube, this is a gameplay video for StarCraft 2, running on my 2011 MacBook Pro 15 inch. The computer specs are in the description, and uh, I've gotten a lot of requests for this game, and here's the gameplay video. Uh, let me pause this really quickly and show you what's, um, what graphic settings I'll be playing on. Everything is all the way up right now, in case um, that that's the way you want to play, or if you need vertical sync or reduce mouse lag for whatever reason, I'm just showing you what it's like. Um, and I'm not going to change the settings because you get close to full frame rate like this. I've already tested a little bit, and if it, I mean, if it's almost perfect, if it's almost smooth with these kinds of settings, then there's no point to try anything lower. You know, but like, I, you don't really need V sync, I'm guessing, most of the time, and, uh, same thing with the um, mouse input lag. So that's only going to improve performance, and then you'll get full frame rate definitely. And I just I don't really see any need to um, uh, tune them down at all. And I'm really not into RTS games, but as far as I know, StarCraft Two is generally considered the best in the category so um, I'm just gonna do the first mission and that's it I don't really want to continue playing the game but you know a lot of people like this I have a lot of friends that uh, love Starcraft and they play competitively and that's awesome it's just not really my thing so um, I'll click my way to wherever I'm supposed to go and hopefully I won't die on the way I remember when um, I was a lot younger, I used to play Age of Mythology. Um, that was a long time ago. Uh, that's another RTS game. And the graphics have improved so much since then. Um, I'm just not used to seeing graphics this good on an RTS game. Then again, I don't really keep up with them, as I said. I like the little heads and stuff that pop up on the left. It's pretty cool. There's quite a few um, things going on, on the screen, too. I mean, you have that face moving here. I mean, you got whatever stuff you have to process, particles and birds flying around. And, and there's a lot of... Even if it's not very graphically intense as a different game, it still... I don't know. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool. Or it seems as if it's not as graphically intense, but I'm guessing it takes a, a lot of processing power. I'm playing on casual, so that's why I'm not dying, I guess. Didn't really want to struggle at all. That's probably, um, yeah, that's the uh, most intense effect I've seen. Explosion look nice, I guess. So that concludes this gameplay video. Sorry, I'm not gonna, you know, keep playing the game to get to more intense battle situations. But um, it runs on the highest settings. I didn't see any need to, to tune it down at all. It would, I mean, you'll get 60 frames per second, I'm sure, if you turn off just a couple more things or, or lower the, um, you know, lower to, like, high instead of ultra on some of the settings. But um, it, it runs amazing. Uh, that's about all I can say. Um, if you're still worried about it, I don't really know what else to tell you. That's all I'm going to do.
So, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe, please. It helps a lot now that I've actually gotten, you know, like, I don't know 60 subscribers now, maybe a little bit less. But um, it helps. And uh, I guess if you want me to test any other games, leave a comment. I can't promise anything, though. But, uh, yeah. See you next time.